Despite going for your rehabilitation, are you not seeing the progress that you wish to see? And despite doing all the exercises, are you also not seeing the progress that you wish to see? Welcome to Basically Physio, my name is Suresh and I'm a physiotherapist. Today we are going to explore three mistakes that you are doing and some solutions to these mistakes that will help to boost your recovery. The first reason why you may not be seeing the progress that you wish to see is because you may not be attending your therapy sessions regularly or consistently. The reasons for this can include that the location of the therapy session or the centre is too far away, you are having mobility issues that make, you, make it a hindrance to attend the therapy session, the therapy session is too expensive, the exercises are very boring and you do not find it motivating, or you are expecting results to be much faster than what you are currently achieving, and lastly, you just are not interested to keep up the consistency because you do not understand what is the rehabilitation process going to be like. So if the location is too far away or you have mobility issues to access this location for therapy session, then you may actually consider home therapy and this kind of therapy might be the one that is suitable for you at this point of time before you can upgrade and move into a rehabilitation centre. For the cost, if it is too expensive, then you may want to explore a financial assistance package or actually contacting your insurance provider if you have one or just speaking to your therapist and telling them that this is your situation and is there any other financing option available for you. If you find that your sessions are too boring, then it is time to have a conversation with your therapist and tell them that this is the situation they are facing kindly and politely and ask them for their opinions on how else it can be more interesting or more engaging for you so that you actually stick to the exercises that has been provided. If you're expecting fast results, then you have to understand that rehabilitation takes time and consistency and also have a conversation with your therapist and see what is the proper recovery process going to be like so that you understand the recovery plan and the rehabilitation plan. And ask a lot of questions to your therapist and also make sure that you have certain timelines that you can look forward to so that you do not get disengaged from a therapy session. So I recently did a community poll whereby I wanted to ask you guys what are the mistakes that you face during a rehabilitation session and which hinders your recovery and a lot of you guys actually said that not doing the home exercises consistently is the main issue and that is our second mistake that we're going to talk about. So some of the reasons why you're not doing your home exercise could be because it is too difficult for you. If it is too difficult for you, then it is time to have a conversation with a therapist to find out an alternative to the exercise plan that they have given to you. And actually ask them whether you're doing it correctly and show it to them how you're doing it so that you know what are the things to look out for. Another reason why you're not doing your home exercise is because you do not understand how to do it after you have left the clinic. If this is something that you are facing, then it is a good idea to actually get it written down uh, taken, taking photographs or especially taking a video of the entire exercise that they are telling you and getting them to do a voiceover for the video so just that you can actually look back at it when you go home and you won't be able to re remember the exercises. So the third mistake is having a negative mindset for your rehabilitation and recovery journey. I did a video on this recently and I will link it in my description or end on this video as well so that you can have a look. So having a negative or fixed mindset about your rehabilitation or recovery journey is a very common problem that is happening to many of the patients out there. This is because you have this belief system that you may not recover fully or you may not recover as fast and return back to your lives as how you wish it to be. The first thing you want to know is that or understand is that yes, you are injured right now and the road ahead is a tough one for you. However, there is light at the end of the road and there are many more patients who have gone through along with the therapist and they have actually emerged out stronger. So look for motivating videos, stories, success stories of other patients with your same condition who have done it and actually seek inspiration from them. Also document your journey from day one or day zero so that you can actually look back and celebrate your small wins and you can actually get inspiration or motivation from that itself. And you'll never know one day these videos or pictures or memories will be the ones that inspire another person also. So that is how you can actually start to cultivate a better mindset and overcome this negative mindset to actually recover and reach your full potential. So I've come to the end of the video and I thank you for watching this. I'll see you in the next one.